Hey everybody, I wanted to make a quick video on how to prepare Pokemon Masters assets and get them all packed up in a zip file which should help with modding uh, and other creative hobbies. Uh, so you'll need a couple things first. You're going to need Blender, the newest version. You will then also need a link to my Mega account which I will then have the character data files in which hold all of the uh, animation assets and stuff. And then also a link to my Google Drive which has the Blender scripts for animation as well as links to the uh, Pokemon Masters character pack. Okay, uh, and a brief overview of the character pack. It currently has, I believe, 360 or 370 uh, characters from Pokemon Masters fully textured uh, and ready to be imported into certain modding stuff. I was gonna import all the animations and stuff into this, but it was gonna be like a 12 gigabyte thing just for this, and it was also lagging the uh, Blender file, so. Um, so you can just kind of pick out your character. Right now I have Anniversary N selected here. And you can see this is his file name, followed by what his actual English name and description in Pokemon Masters is. And if you see there is a symbol where it says 1 plus EX, that means that they have an EX alternate outfit, but I just haven't gotten around to doing it. So currently their base outfits are fully textured and stuff. I just needed to go through the trouble of uh, doing their alts. So what you're going to want to do is to get started, you're going to open Blender. Okay. Start with the base file here. You will delete all of this stuff that comes with it. And make sure you've downloaded my character pack. And you'll go to File, Append. Okay. And then we will find where we stored our character pack, which for in this instance is the Master's Pack. And it might take a little bit because there's a lot of data in there. There it goes. And you're going to want to find collection. So you're going to select, select collection here. And let's say so you wanted uh, anniversary N, for example. Here's all the characters. So we'll just type in N. I might as well type in anniversary because a lot of people have N in their name. And you'll see these two here. Uh, and a lot of people might think you're just typing in N as the character. And then they might see, let's see if it can go down. Oh boy, there's a lot of those. There we go. So you'll see N here. And this is the main collection that has, that's this right here. So you'll actually want the more specific options here, not just their names, because that, that might have more character alts and other stuff like that in there. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is find the N that you want, which in this case, we're testing it with N anniversary. You will click that and it'll import it into your scene here. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install the script that I made edits to. So you can go to Edit, Preferences, and you can either hit Install and then find it and download it, or it's going to be go to my Google Drive, go to Blender Scripts, and you're going to download the animation script file. And you can put that into where you downloaded Blender. So in this, in this case, it is my C drive, program files, Blender Foundation, Blender 3.1, 3.1, scripts, and add-ons. And inside of the add-ons folder, you can just paste it in here, and you'll see mine right here. And once you do that, you can type in, let's say, Pokemon, and you should see it in here, or you can just straight up just scroll down and find out where it's at. Here it is. You'll just click the checkbox on it and then you should see it. And then once that's installed, you can click on the rig of the character, go to File, Import, Find the add-on, click that. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna find the uh, character data for this specific character. And in this case, his name for the file name is character 89 underscore 40 underscore N. And so we're gonna find that. We're gonna go to where we have uh, all of our character stuff. In my case, it's this folder, but yours, you know, you'll get it from my mega folder or whatever. You can even download them individually. Um, but I have this folder full of all the character data and I can just type in 89-40. There it is. And I, this is the one without the zero one. This is the EX form. So we'll do the regular one here. Go to motions. And here's a list of all the animations for this character. 
And what you'll want to do is you'll just have your mouse in here and press the A key on your keyboard and hit import animation. And it's going to take a little bit because it's uh, I edited the script to make sure it batches through all animations, it finds the ones that won't break, and it slaps them onto the armature here. So in just a moment, you will see, okay, boom, there's a blue box down here. And to check that, make sure it went well, you can click this little section down here, go to the section that says dope sheet, go to dope sheet again, change it to the action editor and check. And you can see that N40 has all of these animations now and you can click and switch to them. You can test to make sure that they're working okay. All right, so now once you have him, you can collect these four circles. These are the texture circles here. Click the third option to enable textures and you can see that his textures are working, his animations are going, and everything's working just fine. Okay, now the next step that you wanna do, this is how I particularly like to do it because it's a little quicker, but you'll save this as something, okay? And let's see here, I don't have a folder for him yet. So I will make a folder for N and I just like to organize it a certain way. So I like to say the character and then what kind of variant he is. And he is variant 40. Okay. And I will name this file and 40 as well. And I will save this blend file. Okay. Now it's saved there. And if I go to my file explorer here, I will find N and 40. And here's the blend file. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna take all the textures that are kind of packed into this file and we're gonna take them out of this and uh, dump them in their raw form. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to external data. We'll pack them just in case it missed. And so you see packed four files. So that means the four textures currently on this model, they've been packed onto the file. And then we're gonna go to external data again and unpack. And then you'll see these options here. Choose the first one where it says use files in current directory and create when necessary. And you'll see it's saved here. And if we go to our folder, there's now a folder called textures. And here they are. And he is almost ready to be textured or uh, exported. So now you have everything you want. You have your blend file, you have your textures. And if let's say you wanted to take them into an FBX format, you can now select your object, hit FBX. This is the name I have for him taken from the blend file, saves a little bit of time, and this is where I'm putting him. And then I'll just make sure that the bake animation section says all actions, okay? And you can uncheck apply transform or else your uh, FBX will be a little bit beefier than usual. And you can, I think you can probably mess with some of these settings if you want, but for the sake of time, we'll upload it. Okay, wheel spinning. second now mm -hmm. okay so now it's done you now have the blend file the FBX file and you have your textures okay and if you want you can delete your blend file because of what the workflow that I'm doing I need to delete it because it's not really needed so I'll just go out right click on it send to compress zip and boom he's ready to be put into some modded version of pokemon or whatever the heck you want to do uh, but i hope this has been helpful and uh yeah